Hello viewers, in today's session we are going to discuss another important and conceptual problem from uh, functional equations. So here in this uh, session we are going to discuss this problem in which we are given a functional equation that is f of x y is equal to 2 times f of x minus f of x over y uh, for all x and y belonging to the a set of positive real numbers and uh, moreover here x and y are not equal to uh, 0 and here uh, two conditions are also given that is f prime of 1 is equal to 1 and f of 1 is equal to 0. So we have to find out the uh, second derivative of uh, the function f at this point that is square root of pi. And in addition to this, it is important to note that here uh, we are taking uh, this point as uh, x is equal to square root of pi, right? And here uh, we have to consider uh, the positive square root because uh, this equation is valid for all values of x and y uh, belonging to the set of uh, positive real numbers. So uh, when we are uh, considering square root of pi, uh, it implies that we have to uh, take uh, the positive square root. So now uh, to get the value of f double prime of square root of pi, uh, our aim is to uh, find out the function f of x. Right. So once we uh, find out the form of the function f of x, uh, we can differentiate it uh, to get f prime of x and then uh, we can find out the second derivative and uh, we can substitute x is equal to square root of pi uh, to get the value of uh, this expression right so here uh, what we will do i uh, will uh, make use of the concept of partial differentiation uh, to solve this problem so now uh, let us rewrite uh, this equation as uh, 2 times f of x and that is equal to uh, f of xy uh, plus f of x over y. So uh, taking this um, uh, term that is minus f of x over y to the uh, left hand side, uh, we can now have this equation. Right. So now uh, let us differentiate uh, both sides partially uh, with respect to x. So what we will get, uh, we have uh, 2, then we have del by del x of f of x and here we have del by del x of f of x, y and here we have the derivative that is f of x over y. Now the derivative of f of x with respect to x is given by f prime of x and here uh, we have the derivative of f of x y uh, with respect to x may be uh, written as f prime of x y and then by chain rule uh, we have to uh, differentiate uh, this function that is x y and uh, here also the derivative of f of x over y is f prime of x over y and then by chain rule uh, we have to differentiate x over y uh, with respect to x. So now uh, we have 2 f prime of x and here we have f prime of x y. Now uh, we have to find out the partial derivative of x y with respect to x so we can take y uh, as a constant so we have y and the derivative of x with respect to x and similarly here we have f prime of x over y and here uh, we can take a y as a constant so we have 1 over y and del by del x of x so we can now write uh, 2 times f prime of x here we have f prime x y and uh, here we have y simply because the derivative of x with respect to x is uh, 1 and here we have f prime of x over y 
and the derivative of x with respect to x is 1 so we can now take this 1 over y in front of f prime of x over y so now uh, we have uh, this equation so let us call this equation as equation number 1 so in the first step we have uh, taken the partial uh, derivative of both sides of this equation uh, with respect to x now let us differentiate this equation partially uh, with respect to y so we have 2 and here we have del by del y of f of x then here we have del by del y of f of x y and here we have uh, the derivative that is f x over y now see here f of x is a function of x only and we have to uh, take the uh, partial derivative of f of x with respect to y so here f of x may be uh, taken as a constant so the derivative is 0 so here we have 2 times 0 and here we have f prime of x y and then by chain rule we have the derivative of x y and here also we have f prime of x over y and by chain rule uh, the derivative of x over y so here we have 0 and uh, here we have f prime of x y the derivative of x y with respect to y now we have to uh, keep x as a constant so we can now write simply x and here we have del y del y of y and here we have f prime of x over y and here uh, we can take x outside uh, the uh, derivative operator and we have del y del y of 1 over y that is y raised to minus 1 so this is 0 and here uh, this derivative is 1 so we have simply x f prime of x y and here we have uh, this term as x and uh, f prime of x over y the derivative of uh, y raised to minus 1 is minus 1 over y square so now we have 0 x f prime of x y and we can take uh, minus 1 over y square over here so we have minus x over y square and f prime of x over y so this is equation number 2 so now uh, let us solve uh, these two equations and here I uh, will solve these two equation by elimination method so uh, let us multiply uh, this equation uh, with x over y so that here uh, we get x over uh, y square and here also we have x over y square so here our purpose is to uh, equate the coefficients of f prime of x over y right and after multiplying uh, equation 1 with x over y I will add this equation and the uh, resulting equation uh, which we get after multiplication so multiplying equation 1 with x over y so here we have uh, 2 uh, x over uh, y and here we have f prime of x and then uh, here we have uh, y so x this y and this y get cancelled so we have simply x and f prime of x y right and uh, here we have a plus x over y square and f prime of x over y so let us call this equation as equation number three now uh, we can add uh, these two equations so uh, here we have 2x over y f prime of x and here uh, see uh, these two terms get cancelled and we have uh, here uh, 2x uh, f prime of x y because x f prime of x y uh, these two terms are like terms so we can uh, simply uh, add these two terms so adding 
uh, equation 2 and 3 uh, we have now uh, this equation so let us call this equation as equation number 4 so now uh, multiplying uh, cross multiplying here uh, by y so we have 2x f prime of x and here we have 2xy f prime of xy now we can uh, rearrange the equation so we have minus 2xy f prime of xy is equal to 0 so taking this term to the uh, left hand side now taking uh, or dividing uh, both sides by 2 uh, we have simply x f prime of x minus uh, here we have uh, x y and f prime of x y is equal to 0 now we can take x common so we have f prime of x minus y f prime of x y and this is equal to 0 now here we have the product of uh, two terms uh, the first one is x and the second one is f prime of x minus uh, y f prime of x y now since we have uh, here x not equal to 0 and y is also not equal to 0 so uh, this x cannot be equal to 0 so this factor must be equal to 0 so we have f prime of x minus y f prime of x y is equal to 0 so now we can write f prime of x is equal to y f prime of x y so now we have this important uh, equation uh, that is equation number 5 so now uh, let us uh, replace uh, y by uh, 1 over x in this equation that is equation number so we have uh, f prime and here we have x and uh, for y we can now write 1 over x and here we have f prime uh, x and 1 over uh, x right now here this x and this x get cancelled so we have f prime of x is equal to 1 over x and f prime of 1 and here uh, we are given that f prime of 1 is equal to 1 so we can now write 1 over x times 1 that is 1 over x so we have now f prime of x is equal to 1 over x so f prime of uh, x can be written as d by dx of f of x and this is equal to 1 over x so this is a differential equation and uh, we have to solve this differential equation by integrating uh, both sides so let us integrate uh, both sides with respect to x so here we have dx and here we have 1 over x uh, dx and c is the constant of integration so the uh, integral of the derivative of f of x is simply f of x and here the derivative uh, uh, the integral of 1 over x dx is a log of x and c is the constant of integration so now we have the form of the function uh, that is uh, f of x which is equal to uh, the natural log of x plus c where c is the constant of integration and we can find out this constant of integration uh, by using uh, this condition that is uh, f of 1 is equal to 0 so when x is uh, equal to uh, 1 uh, then uh, f of 1 is equal to 0 so in this uh, equation let us take x is equal to 1 so we have f of 1 here log of 1 plus c now f of 1 is 0 and log of 1 is also 0 and here we have c so this implies that uh, the constant of uh, integration that is c is equal to 0 so now taking c is equal to 0 over here uh, we have f of x is equal to a uh, log of x plus 0 so we have f of x is equal to uh, log of x right 
So uh, this is the form of the function f of x and here uh, if we uh, differentiate f of x we'll get f prime of x is equal to 1 over x because the derivative of uh, log of x is equal to 1 over x and the second derivative is obtained uh, by differentiating 1 over x so we have d by dx of 1 over x so this is minus 1 over x square right so we have obtained uh, the second derivative of f that is f double prime of x is equal to minus 1 over x square so now we have to find uh, the value of f double prime of square root of pi so let us substitute x is equal to square root of pi. So here uh, we have f double prime square root of pi that is equal to minus 1 over root pi uh, square that is equal to minus 1 over pi, right? So the square of square root of pi is pi. So where is the value of this expression is equal to minus 1 over uh, pi. So viewers it is once again reiterated that when we are taking x is equal to square root of pi uh, it means we are taking the positive square root right. So we are considering a positive square root of pi because this number uh, belongs to uh, this set that is the positive uh, real numbers because this equation is valid for all values of x and y uh, belonging to the set of positive real numbers.